sooner than you ever think, sooner than ever you have ever imagined. Jesus is coming back soon and is coming to get those who are ready for him. And I want to tell you, my friends, that you do not have to do anything. All you need to do is believe that Jesus died for your sins. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And if you believe this, then you shall be saved. There's only one way to be saved. That is by believing in the one that God sent, and that is his son, Jesus Christ. And if you're still out there, you're not saved, Jesus loves you. Remember that it is only appointed to live once and after that judgment. Are you still saved? And if you're not saved, remember that there is a time that judgment of God is coming. It's coming upon the whole world. God's judgment is coming upon the whole world. All you need to do is believe. Believe that Jesus is God and Jesus died for your sins. And if you don't believe, then it will all be up to you. Because you've been told, you've been warned, you've been explained to. Preachers have been sent. Messengers of God have spoken to you, but then you've never believed. And remember, it only takes one moment of life. And after that, God is going to judge each and every one of you. Because this time, I can tell you for sure, Jesus is coming soon. He's coming extremely, very, very soon. And we are living in the last days. If you can look up and down, you can tell for sure these are the last days. There's never been any other moment which has been so confusing than this moment that you're living in. People have turned into whatever thing that they have wanted to. But remember, when Jesus comes back, then he's going to judge the goats and the sheep. Where are you going to be? Are you going to be part of those who are going to be judged? Or are you going to be part and parcel of those who are going to receive the goodness of God. Remember, Jesus died for your sins. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And he loves you so much. And he wants you to come to the knowledge of the truth to be saved. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him, every person will be saved. God did not send his son, Jesus Christ, to come to the world to condemn the world, but that through him, everybody would be saved. The law already condemned us. It already told us that we are sinners. We're in need of a savior. But Jesus loves you. And he loves you so much. He cares for you. And all that you need to do is just believe. You just need to believe. And how can you believe what you have not heard? Or how can you believe what you have not understood? What did Jesus do? The Bible says that he came here on earth for one specific purpose to die for the sins of the world and you are in this world and my friend if you can hear the voice do not harden your heart because today is a day of salvation today is the day of salvation jesus is coming back soon and he's going to come to pick up his people he's going to come to pick up those who believe in him and if you don't believe in jesus my friends, you're, you're, you're trading on a very bad note because any time when Jesus comes back, he is going to find you and you're going to be judged for your sins. I know people are saying, maybe Jesus may be coming in a very long time. He, people have been saying, uh, Jesus is coming back, but where, where is the promise of his coming? Where is the promise of his coming? But I tell you, all the things that you are told were to happen, they have already happened. We have seen rumors of wars and, and false prophets everywhere. We have seen earthquakes. We have seen pestilences. We have seen all these things which are spoken of in the Bible. And now what you need to do, my friends, is just believe. All you need to do is believe. Believe, believe the gospel. Jesus is coming very very soon and what is the gospel the gospel is the good news of what jesus did for us the only thing that jesus did for us was to come and save us he shed his blood at the cross for you and for me we could not save ourselves we were full of iniquity we were full of sin we couldn't save ourselves that's why jesus died he shed his perfect blood for us so that whosoever puts his, his faith on the shed blood of Jesus Christ on the cross, he will be saved. The Bible says that all you need to do is put your faith in that shed blood of Jesus Christ on the cross and your life will never be the same again. You will be a new creature 
a new creation. Jesus loves all of you. All that he needs you to do is believe. All that you need to do is believe. Jesus loves you. And he cares for you. And he's coming for you. He's coming to judge this world. And you need to believe, my friends. You need to believe. You need to believe. You need to believe. He's coming. He's coming very soon in the clouds. And all you need to do is just believe that Jesus died for your sins.